Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. So if you haven't read the title of this video, yes, I am finally getting my plastic surgery done. Before I get into this video, I do want to make a disclaimer that um, everyone is entitled to their own opinion um, in no shape or form am I trying to um, convince anyone to change the way they look. This is just my personal preference that changes I want to do to myself, things that I've been um, self-conscious about. Uh, this was something that I wanted to do way before my gastric sleep journey. So um, if you haven't watched my first um, video on YouTube, then you should go watch it. Um, I did talk about uh, wanting to do these procedures before I was denied um, any plastic surgery. I am so excited. I'm so nervous. I'm starting a new chapter in my life. Um, and I guess I'm ready. <laughs> so I am closing the chapter of my gastric sleep journey. Um, I guess I have reached my weight loss limit. Um, my goal was 175 and it took me about five pounds to get there so I never really got there. Um, and that's okay, I always wanted to remain on the thick side, on the chubby side. I never wanted to be skinny so I'm okay with what I weigh now which is about 190. Uh, my lowest weight was about 178 so i was almost there but um quarantine happened i got pregnant and um things like th like that um you know and it was the opportunity was given to me to get these procedures done and i'm like all right let's go ahead and do it it was june with like about a month ago that um I started to do my research on doctors, um, which obviously I had done my research on doctors way before my gastric sleeve, um, but because I was overweight, I was denied. So, um, you know, during my weight loss, I was looking into doctors, but um, personal preference, I wanted a more low-key doctor. I did look into Dr. Bias. I did look into Vive plastic surgery, something like that. Um, I am in a uh, plastic surgery group on Facebook, so that was where I kind of got more of my information. Um, but I still decided to stick to a doctor that was more low key just because they're going to pay more attention to you and give you that look. Um, and you know I think the doctors that are more known in Tijuana they give the girls with bigger followings on social media um, more attention I want to do this video just mainly on the procedures that I'm gonna do and once I am semi recovered I will mention my doctor when I booked my doctor the procedures I wanted to get done was buccal fat removal chin lipo breast augmentation with gummy implants tummy tuck and BBL so my doctor gave me a quote of including lipo which was how he was going to get the fat um so I got my quote and um I was like all right I'm ready to book for July but then I was like you know what in July it's hot I don't want to be in fajas I don't want to be in pain of the tummy tuck and sweating and stuff like that and be more at risk of catching an infection so I was like, I'll go ahead and break, I'll go ahead and break it down in two parts. So the first procedures I wanted to get done were the buccal fat removal, chin lipo, and my breast augmentation with gummies. In September, I wanted to do the tummy tuck and the BBL. I got in contact with the coordinator and she was like, well, you need to come in for a blood test. And I was like, okay. She's like, you could come in two weeks before your procedure. And I was like, all right. So... At first I was booked at first I was booked a certain date of the month of July and then they changed me to like maybe three days before that date so I'm it's I'm having my surgery three days before then I originally booked and um, 
at first I was calm now I'm getting more nervous um, I did go get blood work done last week I've always been anemic since I was little it wasn't until at about high school that it got normal for some reason I don't know and then when I got pregnant my anemia was very low and they prescribed me iron pills so uh, I knew the surgery was was coming up once I booked my surgery I started to take calcium I started to take fingernails and hair pills and I just started taking the iron pills so one thing I noticed when I was younger uh, I did have a heavy period um, they started to prescribe me iron pills but it made my period heavier so um, I had my period about three weeks ago it got I, I'm assuming it got normal after the miscarriage um, so then I started bleeding like right before I had to go get my blood work done and I was just like wow what a coincidence then I remembered I started taking the pills so I, I don't know why my body does this reaction to every pills I should look into it so um, the day that I did have to go take my blood work I was bleeding and they told me I was low so that same day they told me I had to go and buy two different medicines so they could inject it directly to my veins so I did that and um, now it's just I have to go a few days before my procedure um, to get checked again and make sure that everything is fine so with the now and until my surgery I'm trying to eat beets I'm trying to eat everything that's plant-based to help me boost it back up on its own that way they don't have to inject me again which I'm hoping um, I'm not I am I'm just scared of having to have like a blood transfusion in the surgery so now what am I really having so after opening up to my family and friends, um, you know, everyone is entitled to their own opinion. Um, everyone was slowly trying to convince me to just do everything all at once, like just go through the pain all at once. But my biggest concern is getting an infection in the heat, being in pajas, not being able to sleep. So, um, the day that I went to go do my blood work was the day that my mom convinced me to just do everything all at once these are the procedures i'm gonna get done chin lipo breast augmentation without gummies a circular tummy tuck and a bbl and lipo on my back why not the buccal fat removal because i have always been cachetona um my brother was the one who convinced me to like not do anything to my face that i should just wait and I think he is right. I will just give it some time till my lipo heals. And then I'll see if I want to still do the buccal fat removal. Um, no breast implants because I have a lot of boobs already. Um, so my doctor is able to work with what I have and just give me a lift without having to add an implant. I am iffy about that because um, I don't want to go back and get another procedure and having to add the implants. Um, I do just, I want to be like a full C, but with kind of like a high profile. So, but my doctor convinced me to not do the gummies because the day that I did do my blood work, I did meet with my doctor. As far as the BBL, um, I don't want too much, but I want to be more on the curvy side. I want hips um, and circular tummy tuck, I guess. I just, I can't complain. I just have to get that done because of the scoliosis on my back. Um, it's just going to even out my skin. The cost and all of that I will talk about it in another video but so far what I have spent on extra expenses massages and things like that it has came out to be like a thousand five hundred dollars 
I have purchased basically everything. Um, I just need the BBL pillow. Um, how will I sleep? It will depend till I come home from surgery. I did buy the avocado floaty, but we do have a rocking chair in the garage, so I might just sleep sitting down. So I will stay one night at the hospital and then I come home and I do have three massages included in uh, the procedure but I might just go to one it all depends on how much fluid I have my first massage and then after that I did hire a nurse to come and take care of me I will have my mom around to help me this time around it is a lot scarier um, this time I'm not like let's do this this time I am scared I am nervous because being i'm scared of being botched and things like that like obviously it's not gonna be a wait it's it's not a 45 minute procedure like it was for the gastric sleeve like this is gonna be a six to seven hour procedure so i am scared um i don't have a significant other that's gonna give me that extra strength um it's just gonna be me and my mom <laughs> I did want to film this video before my surgery and that way I can vlog possibly weekly and then after that I'll do like a monthly update for six months like I did with my gastric sleeve. I'm not going to give out the date or my doctor who is doing my procedures just because I do believe in um, bad energy people who desire bad energy and things like that so i only my immediate family knows my surgery date um so hopefully the next time i do post a video it'll be like a week update let me know if there's anything i should vlog anything i should post in the next few videos um I don't think I don't think there's any anything else I think everybody was just waiting for me to say like what I was gonna get done but I'm nervous I'm excited it's just so scary this time around this time around my feelings are there like it's completely different than when I had my gastric sleep like this time I'm not telling you guys go for it because it, when I had the gastric sleep I was telling you guys in the video like dude don't even think about it just go for it but this time around I was just like oh I'm scared <laughs> like uh but um you know positive vibes only positive thoughts keep me in your prayers it's gonna be a whole new bed <laughs> i'm like so excited but yet so nervous I bet, like that's all i can think of and that's all i can say I really deserve this. Oh, that was another thing that I did want to mention in this video. Um, I never said my gastric sleeve doctor's name just because I haven't really had a follow up with him. But my doctor is Dr. Iqbal in um, Fountain Valley, California. He is the one who did my gastric sleeve and I'll post a before picture and a current picture as far as my body i'll post pictures in a vlog or something but just so you guys do get an idea as to what i'm talking about like when <laughs> when um my bra comes off it's obviously saggy so victoria's secret did me a favor for like six months but now these these babies are are gone they're leaving so yeah guys i hope i'm alive when i post the next video obviously <laughs> but send me positive vibes keep me in your prayers comment down below any suggestions of things that i should post um i will post like in a different video of all the things that i have purchased and everything was purchased mainly through so, yeah just let me know anything that i should blog about um and i'm ready i'm ready but i am scared and i am nervous don't forget to give this video a thumbs up share it 
um, to whoever needs to hear this little pep talk and comment any suggestions for the future and remember to stay strong and stay beautiful and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys i do want to add that there was absolutely nobody that convinced me to get my body done this is all my personal decision nobody can ever mess with my confidence that i had when i was chubby during my weight loss and now thank you bye